House and Leader of his party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, so it is a pleasure this time to rise on second reading for Bill 119, an act to amend the Engineering Technology Act. Now, Mr. Speaker, um, this bill has caused cons considerable consternation among professional engineers, and uh, we all are in receipt of a letter from October the 3rd uh, from the Association of Engineers and Geoscientists, New Brunswick, uh, reaffirming their, their concerns about this bill. And really, it comes down to a definition, Mr. Speaker, and as I have regularly said in this House, definitions in bills matter. Because that's how courts are going to interpret a law uh, passed and adopted by this Legislative Assembly. So definitions matter. You've got to get it right to ensure that the intent uh, of the overall bill is carried through. Now, the, the dispute between these two uh, organizations, the engineering technologists and the engineers and geo, uh, geoscientists, is around this definition of engineering technology or practice of energy te engineering technology, which is so close to the definition of uh, engineering um, practices in the engineers' uh, legislation that they're almost indistinguishable. And therein lies the problem, Mr. Speaker. Certainly, um, it, it was the hope of members of the private bills committee, and what we understood was that uh, the parties were going to go and discuss this, uh, meet, and, uh, and try and come up with a, a um, definition that was acceptable to both parties and bring it back. Uh, there was no meeting, so uh, the, uh, the uh, amendments uh, before us in this bill are, um, uh, didn't go far enough. They didn't substantively modify the definition of engineering technology or the practice of engineering technology. Now, uh, in the letter from uh, the, the president of the uh, Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists, uh, Michelle Paul Elias, uh, she points out that the amendments that were made uh, continue to uh, ignore the previously expressed, expressed concerns over the creation of a second regulatory body within the engineering profession, which would constitute an unnecessary and confusing regression that throws New Brunswick out of harmony with other provinces, and we don't have this situation that's being proposed in this bill uh, under, uh, with this particular definition in other provinces. So she says, across Canada, the precedent is clear. Two associations left to regulate portions of one profession will result in more bureaucracy, administrative duplication, and confusion among the public about the profession. And certainly that is my concern Mr. Speaker, is that this will create confusion and misunderstanding among the, the, the public, among profession, uh, potential clients, and uh, the definition of what engineering technologists do and engineers do are so similar, um, or would be so similar if this legislation was passed. Uh, no good explanation that I've, uh, that I've heard uh, suggests why the existing definition and the existing legislation governing engineering technologists is not adequate. Um, this bill would have sailed through, I believe, without uh, any problems if the original definition had been remained intact. Uh, but it has been, it is proposed to be changed in such a way that it is very similar to that that exists in the engineers and geoscientists legislation. So uh, this, uh, this raises concerns. Uh, further, uh, it's interesting that the engineers and geoscientists uh, point out that uh, among the amendments, uh, there are um, uh, provisions for enforcement uh, which really fall within the purview of, of uh, protecting the public interest by the regulations of the engineers and geoscientists, and uh, that that. Some of the amendments here uh, encroach, or they, 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 they suggest that uh, 
rep they represent an encroachment on the exclusive authority of the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists in New Brunswick to enforce against those who engage in the practice of the engineering um, uh, um, rules that uh, are set by the engineering technologists. So, Mr. Speaker, I, really, uh, this does need to go to uh, the Economic Policy Committee. Uh, it, does, it does need to hear um, from witnesses uh, so that these concerns out of camera, not in camera, can be well uh, examined and debated. Uh, private Bills Committee, the debate happens in camera. The vote happens in camera. And, uh, and uh, following second reading, I believe it should go to uh, committee uh, of the whole here in the, in the Legislative Assembly so the whole discussion can be held publicly um, and uh, we can examine this in a uh, transparent manner uh, so that uh, everyone uh, becomes familiar with the issues at hand uh, and all MLAs in the House can carry out their responsibilities more effectively by being better informed about the issues of concern uh, and uh, vote accordingly, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, when we finally get to uh, third reading. So uh, those are my comments, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much.